Welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to bypass the scratch sides and XY limits. So、uh, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is make a my block, and what this my block is going to do is going to make us be able to bypass the scratch size limits. So we're going to be making a new variable. This will store the costume that we started on, because we're going to have to use different costumes to do this trick. And、um, we're gonna save it as the costume's name. Next, we're gonna go to the costume editor and make a tiny little dot by using the eraser tool. So now it's zero by zero, and now I can name this costume zero by zero dot. So we're gonna duplicate this, and then we're gonna scroll out, and then we're gonna make a huge circle.、And、you can hold down Control, so you can make it a perfect circle. And then here we're gonna name it big dot. And then here we're gonna start coding. So drag the if else statement, and then the、uh, bigger than. So if size is bigger than 100, so if that's the desired size, then we use the small dot because well, zero by zero dot because then that can go to any size. And then we simply set the size. And if it's、uh, smaller than a hundred, we use the big dot, and then accidentally click it. But、um, we all, we'll have a code to switch it back later. And then here we switch costume to the saved costume before. And here you can see me just testing that out and switching back to the scratch hat costume. And then、uh, we're gonna be testing this out. So just a hundred works as expected. But then, if you do something bigger like this, then you can get a huge scratch cat that you normally would not be able to get. And then here we can have a size one, which is again something that you normally not get. And here you're gonna make this my block with the x and y variables. And then here we're actually gonna make. Duplicate this code so that we can、uh, reuse parts of it, because a lot of it is going to be reused. So we're going to drag this back, and、uh, just have a copy of this. And then it's it's similar to the size setup, but we want to have a super large、um, sprite, and then we can use that to bypass the limits because of how Scratch works. If a sprite is super large. It's just if most of it's in frame, it's fine. So if you have a super large sprite, you can go basically wherever it wants, and then at the end we switch back the original costume. But then we also need to save the original size. So this is what this、uh, variable is gonna do. So we're gonna re,、uh, make a new variable and then save the size of when we started. And then at the end, at the end here, we're gonna reuse the size. So now we can basically store the size and then just reuse it. So it's gonna make a super large sprite. Go to where we need to be.、Uh, save the,、uh, load the costume and load the,、uh, load the size. And then here you can see me just testing it out. And then here we can.、Uh, it's just standard, but then、um, you can make it go off screen, and you can see it's actually off screen. And then here you can make、um, things super big or super small, and then have it go to normal、uh, amounts that you could not normally get with the normal scratch blocks. So you can see me just setting something、um, big. So normally you would not be able to do this, and then you can even do lots of other crazy stuff. So、um, if you watch the end and enjoy this video,、uh, be sure to check out my other videos.、Um, I have one linked on the end screen here, which is how to make an accurate FPS counter. So、um, it doesn't even use timer blocks. So if you're interested, go check that out. And、um, anyways, hope you see you next time. Bye.